Hello and welcome to vlog number 17. Can you believe it's been 10 good videos already? 10, 10 good ones. 17 videos in total, but only 10 good ones. Right. Let's, uh, let's see if this will roll away. It's got rounded corners. It doesn't. That was predictable. Right. Things I am doing today, or have been doing recently. So, uh, last video, you will have seen... Uh, that's really near the top of the frame. Let's see if I can centre that. There we go. This is the guy I showed you last video. I've done a little bit more to him. Uh, shaky camera because I'm holding it with my hand just up from where it rests naturally. So I added a little coin purse from a uh, Zvezda Knight Sprue from um, Ring of Rule. And there is a scroll from a Citadel Flagellant Sprue. Same one the head came from, I think. And I've used a bit of model filler to add wood texture to his uh, staff slash walking stick. Let the camera rest. There we go. And yep, as you can see, he has been undercoated. So hopefully today I'll get some way through painting him. Maybe even finish him, possibly not. Right. Also last video. These guys, the... Assassins and their Plague Doctor friend, which I unboxed. Was that last video? I can't which video I did that in. Uh, anyway, this is stuff you've seen before. Let's see if I can. Uh... Nope. Yep, there. I've cleaned them up and they're ready for basing. A uh, little tip, if you're um, doing bases the way I do them, trim away the middle of the tab, if you can, so that you don't get the tab showing over the um, texture of your base. There's a base. That's uh, done with wallpaper, as I did in the recent-ish tutorial video, which is actually the most popular one on my channel at the moment, uh, so I might do some more videos like that since it seems people are interested. So yeah, these guys are going to be uh, mounted on these bases today. Bunch of them. You've seen them before, this is what they look like. They, uh, they paint up rather nicely. When they're done, you'll, uh, you'll see this happen. Right. Also, um, had a bit of millipot left over from something else I was doing. The something else I was doing was repairing a teapot. That's not really modelling related, so I'm not going to show you. Uh, so, I, I used a blob of it to make this uh, tree stump into a tree stump. The sense. I am making it, I'm sure. Yeah, so just uh, sort of crammed, crammed it in the top there and had a go at sculpting tree rings. I don't know how well this will come out. It looks okay to me. Uh, it's a nice little addition to my uh, outside-y type terrain. A little interesting piece. Still going to clean up the rest of this. And uh... Yep, right. And finally... I hope today to be painting my uh, crystalline barrier spell effect pieces. These are made from chunks of sprue carved to look like crystals. And a little bit of green stuff to uh, mount them onto Mantic um, Kings of War type bases. 
there they are. They don't all fit in frame once if I do that. They do if I do that. Yeah, they should look quite nice when they're painted up. Now this is um, just past the five minute mark. I honestly thought this would take longer. Do I dare jump cut and grab something random off the shelf? I think maybe I do. There we go. Right, uh, so this is the Wyvern you saw in very early videos before Focus existed. This is what it looks like with Focus. Although, to be fair, it doesn't fit in the frame properly. Slowly pan up with I'm careful. Dun, dun, dun. Da -da. Probably shouldn't have panned up that high, you can see above the back of the sofa which I filmed this on. I'll pan back down again. Yep, yeah, uh, so you can actually see that this has details and uh, a paint job. So for those of you who haven't watched that previous video, this is a toy ribbon that a friend gave me to paint up. Let's see if I could use it, and I did. The base, there's actually a very good example of this basing technique, is that textured wallpaper stuff. There it is. Here it is unpainted. Here it is painted. That's what it looks like painted. As you can see, it comes up pretty good. In fact, uh, the more observant of you may have noticed this game board I'm using as my uh, sort of background. The road on that is also the same stuff. So they, they just about match. Give or take which greys I used. Don't always consistently use the same greys on things. Especially terrain. I've got cheaper paints I use on terrain and uh, more expensive paints for miniatures. Uh, a few things to point out about this. Um, yeah, quite pleased how the eyes came out. But they look better on camera than they, did, they do in real life, which I'm very pleased with. Because often things are the other way around. You go, oh, it looks better in real life. But on this, no, better on camera. Uh, it's, for a toy, is very nicely detailed and sculpted. I think if somebody showed me this in a display case and did not let me pick it up, and feel that it is clearly that slightly rubbery toy plastic. See that? It flexes and bends. This would look like a Journeywood miniature. Uh, were I not able to uh, judge the weight and so on of it. Yeah, um, so I had this odd scale there, painted up in the same light grey as the wings in a sort of um, reference to the uh, Beowulf type thing of the dragon having a weak point, uh, weak point, weak point, weak point below its, um, below its throat there. And yep, yeah, nice detailed. Um, went for a, not obvious on camera, but I went for a few various shades of um, bluish greys all over it on the different scales to make them stand out differently. Its head's always out of frame. Let's bring the head awkwardly into frame, almost upside down. Yep, head, nice. All the horns, yep. Quite pleased with this. I'll sit you back there out of focus because we've just passed the nine minute mark. I will waffle on for a little bit more until we get to the ten minute mark. And I will put things from earlier in the video in shot where the land of focus exists, like that, for the end of the video. There we go. Um, that'll do, won't it? I think it will. I need a goodbye catchphrase. <laughs>